To sensitize yourself, to use the natural weight of the arm, just hold your right arm with your left hand. When you feel really heavy, just let go of the arm. If your arm stays in the air when you do that, it's not completely relaxed and a muscle is being used to hold up the arm. The goal is for the arm to be completely floppy and just drop down and swing. That's the weight that we need to use on the bow to get a big sound. The arm weighs about 10 to 12 pounds, and that's plenty for getting a big sound if we use it properly. A good application of the arm weight is with the getting into the string exercise, which I demonstrated in a previous blog. Because it's so important, here it is again. At the frog, just let the weight of the arm move the string back and forth, left and right, and then release some of the weight and with a very slow bow speed, try to get a cuss sound. You'll probably find that if you're relaxed, you'll actually have much more weight than you need at the frog. A major cause of tension for a lot of people is the right hand thumb squeezing into the bow. The key for this is to make sure that one releases any thumb pressure at the frog. In fact, you don't even really need the thumb at the frog. I can actually play without having my thumb on the frog for about two inches. Of course, we really do need the thumb there, but the important takeaway is that it takes minimal energy to use the thumb at the frog. Really important for relaxation is to make sure that the shoulder and elbow at the frog are at the lowest and most relaxed places. One of the major causes of pain and tension is not releasing the muscles when they can relax at the frog, so they can be used effectively at the tip. It's part of that cycle of tension and release. A good exercise is just to sensitize the feeling of relaxation at the frog and just going out to the tip and feeling where the elbow has to be with the least amount of energy needed and then going back to the frog with relaxed muscles. <laughs>